Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Shamsuddin. This is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to have your character animation start from a default pose into whatever animations you have assigned to the character. And this is useful when using cloth simulation so that the cloth gets enough time to settle on the character during the simulation before the main animation starts. So this was brought to my attention by a user who was having difficulty with this. So I thought to make this video, maybe someone else might find it helpful. So I'm going to start by importing a figure I already exported from Daz. Um, I have a video on how to export Genesis figure from Daz if you want to see that. Okay, so now that we have the figure imported, I'm going to quickly go through the rigging buttons. Add meta rig, then match rig and then generate rig and this will take some time and then finally rig figure okay so now i'll expand the animation tab and i'm going to import uh, the animation i intend to use which in my case is from das so i'll click the das import button and then locate the file and import that. So I'm going to press play to preview the animation and then click the bind button here to bind the animation to the figure and then play it again. And also for better viewing, uh, let me change the viewport shading here to texture. Okay. Now to have the character in a default pose before this work animation, I'll expand the timeline down here. You can see we currently don't have any keyframe on the timeline and that's because the animation is not yet baked to the character. And to do that, I'll simply click this big button here in the animation tab. All right, so now we should have the keyframes on the timeline. All right, now I'll press tab to go to pose mode, then A to select all bones. I'm going to go to the first frame and then scroll the mouse wheel to enlarge the timeline. Now I'll press G and then move the animation about 10 frames. You can offset the animation any number of frames you want, but I think 10 frames is about enough for cloth simulation. So now I'm going to click the reset button here, which resets the character to its default pose. And then I'll press A to select all the bones again, and then press I and insert the location and rotation keyframe. And now we should have the character animation start with a default pose before transitioning into the imported animation after an offset of 10 frames. And of course, the animation doesn't end here. So to adjust the frame range to match and the length of the animation, I'll click the match frame button here and then zoom out on the timeline, then play. All right, so that brings us to the end of this quick guide. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please endeavor to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and would like to see tips and guide on animation using Blender or Dash Studio, uh, kindly subscribe to the channel. So thank you very much for your time. Till next time.